Hey guys, this is Ethan. Welcome to your third tutorial on nanoscience. Today we're going to be talking about Moore's Law. Moore's Law states that the number of transistors that can be affordably fit on an integrated circuit doubles every two years. This is a very important rule of thumb that has a lot of implications for computer science and also, of course, nanoscience, because that's what we're talking about. Note that this says affordably fit and not just, like, fit if you spend a trillion dollars or something. So it has to be within reason. You can't just go off in some weird, crazy spending spree here. Anyway, what's a transistor, you say? Well, a transistor is a semiconductor that switches and amplifies power and like, electrical signals. It used to be what vacuum tubes were. If you've seen those old clunky glass things, these things replaced those. And it was a huge innovation. It is a huge innovation. And now they get smaller and smaller, and they basically control the computing processes. They're very vital for a computer. Here's like an ordinary circuit. All this stuff out here is like the exposed circuit, you know, the non-integrated circuit parts. Because, I mean, it's integrated into one circuit board, but it's not its own chip. Meanwhile, these black things are the integrated circuits. If you see here, all the stuff in blue, kind of around the blue stuff, you know, whatever, all this stuff, is all the regular stuff. And all the red stuff, and maybe these, I'm not really sure, are the integrated circuits. If you would crack one of these open and look inside, you would be amazed by how tiny stuff is in there. And you'd have to use a microscope to see it all very precisely. That's why they're called like microchips and microprocessors. Now you know. Here's a graph that shows Moore's Law in action. It's a logarithmic graph, or else it'd be like an exponential thing where it would just go up like crazy like this, and you wouldn't be able to fit it all on here. Like these points would be up in the air somewhere above your head. You can see that it follows a very, very close straight line. Like it kind of goes off a little bit here, but not by much. And it's both a law and like a self-fulfilling prophecy, because nowadays Intel and other computer suppliers, whatever, use this as like a production guide. So at 1990, they were like, oh man, guys, by 2000, we better be, you know, right around here. And lo and behold, they were. And these red arrows here I kind of made were not like precise to certain times, but they always came up on problems. Like they'd be like, around here, they'd be like, oh man, there's some technical problem that we can't get past where this law is going to break down. And then a little bit before that happened, there was some big breakthrough that happened, so they could get past it, because new technology allowed them to. And this has happened like three or four times in the past, and they've always been saying like, oh, it's going to break down in the next ten years, and it never has, because they've always found new ways to get past stuff. Right now, as it stands, we're thinking that it might break down in the next ten years. So who knows if that's true or not. There are some limitations, like you can't get these things smaller than an atom, because that's crazy, right? Right? I mean, who knows? It's one of the frontiers of nanoscience right there. That's kind of exciting. Here is the funniest picture I could find, by the way, of Gordon Moore. He's a co-founder of Intel, and he's just surrounded by his ferns. I hear he loves his ferns, and that's how you can tell he's a good man. He loves his ferns. The article that he published this prediction or law of his was in a magazine called Electronics Magazine in April 1965. And he's kind of refined it since, but it's pretty accurate. You might hear sometimes that Moore's Law is 18 months. Well, it's not, and that's wrong. It's two years. It's a misquote. See, this other guy, David House, who really hates you and wants to make your life as complicated as possible, predicted that integrated circuits would double in performance every 18 months. But that's different. So remember, Moore's Law is two years. That being said, thank you guys very much, and I'll see you guys next tutorial. Please subscribe. Have a great day.